Alright, so this here, like I said, is an example of what you get when you try to date and you're disabled and you can't really either get enough money to bring a woman over from Asia or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> or, again, you're being paid a minimum wage, right? You can't even do a part-time job properly because of arthritis pain, right? Right. Now, this lady is called Delicious Adeline, right? right. Nothing too nudie here. I don't have to see you naked to be interested in you either, either. But see, she says, after three sexist months, it is time for me to get out there and play some naughty games. I wish to meet an amazing person who is on the same sexual level as I am. I will go above and beyond to get what I want sexually. What about you? How far would you go to get you know, pussy? Which is a slang word for vagina. Let me tell you, I'm living in Georgia and I traveled to the States for the weekend to get laid. <laughs> Can you believe that? Well, that is how... For the weekend... Well, sorry. That is how far I am willing to go. <laughs> Seeing that you are also living in Georgia, I will not have to travel that far, and we should be able to meet more frequently. Let's have some great fun. Are you ready for this? Now, to even send her a message, right? Let's see what it does. <laughs> Oops, you're out of the currency. Proceed, right? Now, the lowest currency I can get is 10 for $15, right? 25 is $35. 50 is $65. 100 is 120 See, the days of writing a woman a letter are gone, right? And 15 damn dollars for 10 currencies ain't is more than a dollar a piece. <laughs> right? <laughs> what the hell? No. And I already wrote someone Gave them my number, and I never heard from them. <laughs> right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> now, I kind of gave it in a code using two numbers, right? <laughs> I put 9-1, then a 2, then a 4-1, and then a 4, right? <laughs> and then a Eight four two eight, right? Right. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But spacing it out throughout the letter, right? <laughs> so it looks like I'm just t also typing random numbers, which they can't do nothing about. But see, then the female acts stupid. <laughs> like she can't figure out I'm trying to give her my number or something. <laughs> exactly. Or she can't do the same thing to give me hers. So, like I said, these bogus sites pop up all over the place. Now, the problem with sites like eHarmony or stuff like that is, again, you have to pay them 30 bucks just to join the month. I know. I ain't got 30 bucks to blow when I don't know if I'm going to even meet someone on your damn site a freaking month <laughs> with no guarantee of even a date. <laughs> Hell with that. <laughs> 
That's why I don't have a girlfriend right now. <laughs> don't you think? I gotta make sure this one ain't a nudie one. <laughs> so I'll look first. Sometimes they have new pictures. <laughs> well, this is mainly to see what she actually says, right? Okay, she's just in a hot outfit. It looks like a black Superman outfit. Remember in the movies, right? <laughs> she's playing Supergirl, right? So she says, I think the sexiest thing is when a man takes me anywhere he feels and everywhere he feels. Have you ever do that to a woman? I miss being... She says, choked <laughs> and taken from the back in bathrooms, <laughs> stairways, and other weird places. I love stairways especially. It can be surprisingly creative for orgasm positions. LOL. If you could take me anytime you want, where and when will it be? I see you are in Savannah. Maybe we can make that happen. In a spontaneous but planned way. Mm -hmm. But that's the whole point, right? See, confusion in Dayton is what we're talking about, that, right? Mm hmm. How I got confused with Sheena's signals, and I guess she got confused with mine. Because, <laughs> see, if it's not about oral sex that night, and I had sex with her from the night before. <laughs> She didn't tell me something <laughs> the following day and, uh, that she was not wanting to have sex sex with me, right? The difference between it being rape, though, and not is how she reacted after I talked about getting her pregnant and marrying her anyway. And uh, I do remember saying that in one of the letters and Talking about marrying her in Jerusalem and all that. <laughs> Which, like I said, that's when it got weird. Like, she didn't even know we had sex. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> then I'm confused, right? <laughs> you didn't say we couldn't have sex. You didn't say you were waiting for legal marriage in the States. Or, you know, that you didn't want sex before marriage. Or, <laughs> you know, if I knew that, that wouldn't have been a problem either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I didn't know that. She, in fact, didn't say she wanted oral sex the following day from the night before either. So I thought, okay, well, here we are in a different situation. It's the following day. She's letting me pull her panties and shorts all the way down. Unlike Lisa or, like I said, the weird party I had at 19. <laughs> the girl there. <laughs> thought I didn't have sex with her. But again... <laughs> That means I can have sex or not, right? Well, like I said, the one who crossed her wires there was who? Sheena herself, right? She didn't think that I was a backslid Christian and what that meant. <laughs> That's what I was telling her. You know, I'd been with five women before you got had sex with them without being married to them. <laughs> I thought you understood that. <laughs> For you went off with me, right? So here I am thinking, oh, well, she's all in it, right? She wants sex now, right? Well, she never said she did. No, no. That's what I mean. I'm not trying to embarrass you, honey, but that's called communication, not rape. <laughs> you didn't say no even after the act. Yeah, after I went inside of you and you felt something wet go in you. That wasn't my tongue. <laughs> that was my penis and my sperm. <laughs> you never said we couldn't. <laughs> no. See, during the whole course of the day, from the time I met you with your friend to the following day, you're the one not communicating your stance on marriage. <laughs> and we're going to a park. We're making out. We're, you know, going down. Right. To your boobs, sucking your boobs, right? 
Then we go over under the tree, right? With a blanket spread out. This is your idea. I don't know. You're doing it with me. <laughs> and I pull down your shorts and panties and mine. <laughs> and I put it in you. I oh, know. Not my tongue, my penis. I oh, know. And I come in you. And you seem all fine with it when we're done. I, we redress real quick. <laughs> it's called a quickie when it's sex like that. <laughs> but it's also trying to make love to you, not just, you know, screw you and dump you. <laughs> but that's called a failure to communicate your waiting for marriage in church, right? See, if you're Pentecostal and I'm Pentecostal, and I done had sex with five women, obviously our church is teaching us something different. And I'm either a backslid Christian to you, which you didn't ask me that either. <laughs> and I figured, well, since your dad molested you, maybe you were too. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you're not communicating me anything but that you're a Pentecostal church goer. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> so am I. <laughs> so I'm based off of Pastor Davis's teachings, which is based off of the United Pentecostal movement of the 1900s. Right. <laughs> Where they're teaching the oneness of God and Jesus. They're teaching baptism in the name of Jesus Christ itself. Using the name instead of the title. Tools. They also believe you have to speak in tongues to be saved. But again, Pastor Davis didn't quite buy that part. But again, <laughs> splitting hairs. And what do you think I'm trying to tell you? I didn't know you didn't want sex. <laughs> You didn't tell me. When we had sex, you didn't want sex. <laughs> Are you so out of reality that you don't think a male can use his penis instead of his tongue on you? <laughs> when you didn't specify that we were going back to the night before, when uh, I started trying to do oral sex on you? All right. Now, I'm not a woman, so I got a penis and a tongue, but... If you're not specific when we go to do something like that, oral or penis, right? Tongue or penis, right? If you don't tell me, <laughs> Shane, let's continue to date from when we left off. <laughs> Specifically, and we're doing different stuff on the park bench first and then go under the park bench under the tree. <laughs> well, how long do you think it takes to have sex, honey? It can be over in less than a minute. <laughs> okay. Or two. Or two. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's all it is. Sex is not a long thing, honey. <laughs> What's up, <something> man? <laughs> Unless you're real doing a lot. <laughs> and I'm trying to apologize to her. I just don't know how. <laughs> she could be that out of it. And, uh, and not understand we were both in a different area and uh in our understanding of what was going on in the church see in my church they were having sex <laughs> mm -hmm. they were jerking each other off <laughs> the men the men <laughs> that's the sex act <laughs> so I started having sex because my friend Myron and his girlfriend were having sex. See, I was trying to wait for marriage and not judging them for having premarital sex either until Pastor Davis, she you know. No. It's what I'm trying to tell you. No. This is how people's wires get crossed, right? One church is teaching one thing and doing another, right? right. Like I said, do you not think people... In church or going to the clubs at night, listening to all that dirty music, right? <laughs> or even the strip clubs, and then Sunday morning they're in church. <laughs> not judging them. You're not supposed to, right? We're all dealing with our inner demons. Oh, no. But another problem is what? Oh, no. You confuse people with that shit. <laughs> yes, you do. Right. <laughs> Plus, I'm from the South. We don't even 
Look at it. <laughs> Funny. You know, for long, for long. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let alone do it in front of another guy touching it. <laughs> and doing it on your hand. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't have to know that's what would happen if two guys were doing that either, even if I never did it, right? It would get all over your hands, too. <laughs> but again, that's why I'm confused, Sheena, when I meet you, too. <laughs> I'm trying to explain what was going on with me and, and apologize to you because I didn't know what was going on with you either, either. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So all I can do is say I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do all that, but I was all messed up on my church. <laughs> and that's all I mean, and all I can say is we weren't on the same page. I guess. <laughs> so this is the sex with slut site. This girl just gave me a picture of her. <laughs> Let's see what she says. <laughs> She says, have you ever had sex while someone else watched you? Do you think you could cope or do you think it, it'd be awkward? I have this urge to F-U-C-K outside in public. I don't care who sees me. It's so exciting to do something naughty that you know you're not supposed to be doing. <laughs> There's this park right outside my place in Savannah and people walking in the park can see right into my window. Are you brave enough to come over and at least if you said gave me right by the window? I gave my ex a BJ at the window one time and I a crowd of people gathered outside the window all watching us. It made me so wet. I'd love to actually go and F-U-C-K in the park one day, but maybe just at the window to start. Will you do it with me? Well, here will be the point to her. No, that's a public display in Savannah, right? Now, if we were in, say, <laughs> Paris, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> But here you can't do that. It's illegal. All right. True. Because our ideas of sex, right, are archaic. I know they are. Yeah. Yeah. We're so backwards with sex. We don't even know that some of the stories in the Bible, especially the woman at the well, might be about what Isaiah was saying about seven women taking hold of one man, right? Well, that has to do with Jesus' role as the Messiah, right? And him marrying seven women but having daughters with them. Meaning they had sex, he got them pregnant, but he didn't legally marry them either. either. <laughs> he did that to take away their reproach among men, you know, which was having a child, right? So, this is another girl, and she's got own panties, so it's not that revealing, right? But then she says, the thing about your virginity taken by an older man is that the D-I-C-K is so good in comparison to younger guys that all you, that's all you crave. If I am see, seeing right, you are 51, right? I will be honest seeing that got me so mm -mm, wet I can only think about your spasms going in and out of my vagina <laughs> getting me dripping with every insertion <laughs> can you message me and get inside me soon I know there are younger but as I said you are my thing and you can make me your thing if you want to. Right. But that's still like a fantasy. So what I do is in the meantime, since I can't really afford all this anyway, 